Hi, it's me, Jane, with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Today is day 19 of VEDA, just a few more days. Um, yesterday, I did get my Nip Picks replacement cord. Um, they were out of the purple at the time, which is what I've had in the past. So I just went ahead and told them, you know, go ahead and get the black because I ordered the black for the... Uh, 60 inch that I was ordering. So those came in yesterday. Today I've been trying to spend a little bit of time. I tend to, when I find a free pattern, take it, print it out, and then just set it next to my chair. Um, so what I was trying to do today is I've got several empty notebooks, is to put them into notebooks where hats are in one notebook, baby sweaters are in another, um, blankets, afghans, lapgans are all in a different notebook. Part of that, that is one of the goals that I was aiming for this year as well, to try to become a little more organized with my patterns and my yarn. The yarn's not working out so well right yet. Um, maybe I need to quit buying yarn. Um, but uh, the patterns, I'm working on that, getting them all situated. Um, I do have patterns, you know, that I have in my, um, in separate files on my computer. But I don't tend to use the patterns from, by using my um, iPad to read patterns from. For some reason, I just still haven't got into that. I can read a book on an iPad, but patterns, not so much. So I'm kind of wondering, do you guys use some kind of technology for reading your patterns? Do you use an iPad, Kindle, your phone, whatever? It would be a lot easier, be less paper. And I'm sure my husband would be thrilled with that because there'd be less paper having to be purchased as well as less ink. And as you know, ink for printers is kind of expensive. Although we did get a different printer, we'd always had HP. And we've always had issues with HPs. And this last HP printer that we had, it had gotten to the point where you would send it a job and it wouldn't print at all. So, um, and of course I thought, you know, needed ink, looked at the, the thing and it was short on some ink. So I changed out the inks like normal, tried to clean the printer head. And we determined that the printer apparently had died. We use a wireless printer all the time. And, um, so, we emptied it all out, and of course we put just put in new ink. So there was almost a hundred dollars right there down the drain, and you can't get it back when the computer goes bad, which is one of the bad things you know I don't like care for about. Um, so then when we pulled that printer off and went to take it to the dump, we noticed that it had been pulling ink down in the bottom. And that is the same problem we've had with any HP that we've had. Eventually they go bad and the ink just goes through the printer like crazy. And you're, you know, you're not really printing that much. And you wind up finding later on that it's just pulled down in the bottom of the machine. So this time we went with brother. My husband has a brother printer that he uses at school all the time for um, in the classroom and things. Um, even though they can send all their print jobs over to the print shop at the university, many times uh, he will print something out and just go make copies. That way it keeps his tests and you know information out of the hands of a lot of these uh, kids. Because I don't know if you know about this, but a lot of st college students do something where they um, they cheat. 
Um, they don't really care about honor codes. They don't care whether they're, they're really getting a good education, whether they're learning it. They're just worried about getting a grade, and a good grade at that. Um, my husband found out uh, at one point that kids, and he always gives the test back after they take the test anyway, because he always changes the test. No test is the same. He does go over the information, gives you refuse review sheets in the in his syllabus but you know students people want to take the easy way out so he did find out that the students had in one of the other professors labs some of the students had compiled uh, these notebooks that had copies of test in it and they um, one of the other students was mad at some of those students that were working over in that lab. He and, uh, managed to get those notebooks away and now those notebooks are no longer available to the students. And of course when my husband found that out, again, you know, he decided, well, I'm going to change up my test completely. And apparently one of the students also works in the, the uh, print area where they print tests for the professors so he makes copies of the test for himself so he can sell to other students so husband went in and changed all the tests and you know a lot of the students were like oh my goodness you could see that they were the ones that were cheating because they were pretty upset that the test had different questions and all kinds of things on it but you know what if you're if you're cheating you're not only cheating your other fellow students you're mostly cheating yourself um, and, and I don't understand why kids do that today you know even if you're passing with the C or D many times you're learning if you've chosen to do that but um, I find that you know kind of upsetting the kids it's gotten even more of a business for other kids to do and I I just got a problem um, I know that if I was an employer and I found out that one of those students was constantly doing that kind of thing I don't think I'd want them working for me because if they're gonna cheat in school and cheat on themselves because that's what they're doing cheating themselves out of a good education they're most likely gonna cheat on me as an employer so I don't know what are you going to do with kids today? <laughs> I do have quite a few items that are in my queue that I want to start. And, you know, like I said, I told y'all I had Craft ADD. That also comes down to Project ADD. I'll see a project and I just want to do it. So I'll put aside everything else and get the stuff ready for that and go for it. One of that is Happily Hooked Magazine has a crochet along right now. And it's one of the patterns in their newest, the April edition. And it's basically for a market bag. And it's, it's a cute market bag. And uh, <laughs> it calls for Karen crochet cakes, two of them. Well, Karen crochet cakes haven't made it to uh, cotton crochet cakes, that is. They have not made it to our area yet. So, you know, Jane's wanting to start that. I'm telling you, it's frustrating. So I decided, well, I've got a lot of um, different cottons here, so I'll just make my own cake with those. And, uh, We'll see. It's going to be what it's going to be. But do you guys do that? Do you get started on something and see something and want to go directly over to it? You know, stop working on what you're doing. And now listen to the phone going off like crazy. I'm telling you. So... <laughs> Left and right today, and 
things going off on that phone. I don't even know why. Of course, not, not any of it's important. I've um, silenced all the dings and bells and sounds, supposedly, and they still come through. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I wish I were a computer nerd so I could figure it out, but I can't. As you can see, I'm changing up the colors on this afghan a little bit. I was doing, trying to keep it in where the center was this, move to this, then move to the cafe, and then go back to the light tan, go back to a darker brown, and then that mix, that fleck, that Aaron Fleck one that I found light and then I used one of the darker ones I found and now I'm back to the cafe. I don't like doing things where everything is you know it's one color then you have your strata you've got all the different colors and you just keep repeating that. I don't like that I like to change things up. I think it provides a little more interest and uh, that's where I'm at today with this still going on want to get it done haven't gotten the hat done yet it's gonna go with this um, gonna do a scarf and some mittens as well I believe I have enough yarn I found enough browns and tans that I think I can do all that you know not like I have any yarn here at the house all right folks I've been chit-chatting and rambling on about nothing now for about 12 minutes. So I'm going to close and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.